trail mix out already. I've not mixed my trail mix up yet. That's one half of my trail mix. It's all gone wrong, Brian. What have you brought us into? I don't know, man. I don't know. Charlie, what's going on here, mate? Oh, just having a lovely summer barbecue. I don't do barbecue reviews. But if I did do barbecue reviews... This would probably be a 10 out of 10, mate. I should start off a bit weaker than that, shouldn't I? Nothing like British summer. Welcome to Hadrian's Wall. We're not even at Hadrian's Wall yet. Hello, people, and welcome to another video. This is the, the trip of the year. We are doing Hadrian's Wall. We're planning to do it in five days. We haven't got the best weather, I'll be honest. Uh, it's forecast rain pretty much all week, but it's off and on. Um, so it's, we think we're going to be all right. Today's the first day, obviously, and today's the worst weather, and it's the longest miles. No, it's nothing. We are doing 18 miles today, so it's our longest day. Pretty tired already. Um, we stayed in the caravan last night. So we had a bit of a base camp before we started off. So we're tired already because none of us really slept that well. Um, but we've got 80 miles to do and the worst weather of the trip. But hey, let me introduce you to the pack. The chosen comrades for this trip are Charlie, Chuck Norris, Jordan Lamb. How did Lung, Lung since appeared. I haven't got any socks. Charlie, Peter's got no socks. <laughs> it's okay, mate, you've got your Crocs. So this is it. This is it. We're, uh, we're leaving the uh, the Packmobile and we're we're going to be off to find the start of the start of the, the trail very shortly. Wish us luck because we're going to need it. Oh yeah, check out Jordan's t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. Come on, Peter. Fucking way in. Oh my god. Okay folks, oh, no, no, here no. is the official start. Oh. Get it away. I want to do a photograph, Brian. You can do it in me. Wall's End, 84 miles. But we've got a bit more because we're going to go past Wall's End and to the other coast because we want to do official coast to coast. So when Pierce took his photo, we'll, uh, we'll get underway. Poor. After collapsing with just bruised feet. Charlie's just filling in the official little log book. What are you putting, mate? I just put the date and I put the pack has arrived. I'm gonna put the pack's arrived. I don't know, actually. Oh, shame, oh, shame, it's done. And we get to stamp Pete's it. Pete's just unpacking his bag for the 10th time. <laughs> oh, there's stamps. Yeah. These are the stamps that we don't have a book for. What? I do. Yeah, but you have a hand. Oh, I love that. No, We've collected our first stamp at the banks. We are stamping in this um, walking guide that I got. It's actually a really fantastic guide. It basically walks you through all the historical points and stuff that we're going to see along the way. And it also comes with an OS map booklet. Um, it was a little bit pricey, but it was definitely worth the money. It's going to it's going to give the trip a little bit more meaning as we go and we can kind of read about history as we go. So we've got the stamps. We're going to collect. I think there's 13 stamps. So we're going to collect all 13, if we make it to the end. What, who am I kidding? We're going to make it to the end. I don't know about Peter though, Peter might not. Peter's still packing his bag. <laughs> he, might, he might have stopped packing in five days. And so it begins. We've left. Well, two of us have. Charlie's taking point. Five days, 84 miles. Okay, chums, let's do this. All mm -hmm. well Bro flies, we're feeling pretty good. The packs have broken in quite nicely. Mine hasn't. That's all right. Pete Sorry. hasn't, not yet. Pete's got a brand new pack. What pack have you got? It's a Montane Ultra Tour 55. Really impressed with it. Suit you. Look forward to the view. Review. Review. On outdoor life of Brian. Watch this piece. <laughs> Don't watch the outdoor life of Brian, it's what really it's charm. Charlie's, Charlie's there doing some stuff. Cozy man. Check and out. we are going that way, let's go boys. Bless us both.
Right, so we've just been reading the, um, the guide and this castle house here is made out of the stone uh, from the wall, because obviously, let me turn the camera around. Uh, we're not going to see the wall until tomorrow um, because it's over the years it's got dismantled and taken apart um, and at the, at the time of taking it apart it, the stone was used to build houses in the, the local walls, communities and areas. So this, this is a pretty cool castle like house. And this, this book is proving really good. Everyone's quite pleased with it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, it's really good. Good, yeah. good little purchase. So. I'll run you through that later at camp and show you properly. So we're having a quick sit stop. Our feet are hurting a little bit because we've been uh, pounding the pavement for several kilometres now. We are cracking on for about halfway. We're actually making really good time. It's probably about half past twelve nearly, and um, like I said, we're getting up halfway. I'd scheduled about twelve hours for today because uh, everyone I've spoke to has said it's a really long haul. But um, I think we're walking a bit quicker than we thought we were, so we're making good time. We're going to try and keep keep pace. But we've just stopped off in a where are we? Rough, rough by Sands. Rough by Sands. Yeah, rough by Sands. Nice little village. Berg, it's Berg by Sands, remember? It's, pro, it's pronounced Bruff. What was it? That's what the book says, Jordan. Oh, yeah, sorry, don't, 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 the book. don't doubt the book, man. Don't doubt the book, man. Really takes some water on that. So Aqua clip. <laughs> Do you mind? Try again. Aqua clip. <laughs> There's another one here. There's two more over there. Do you anything? You They're just slipping to the sky. I've got two in my bag as well, but it's all tucked away in my high fizz bloody jacket. This is a troubled soul. What just happened? <laughs> Charlie nearly killed me. <laughs> You're right. I forgot my wall. <laughs> Mate, how can you forget the aqua clips? So, we have just had a nice little uh, lunch stop. Bought, bought a pint. Had a pint each. And had our wraps for dinner. We are now a little bit behind schedule because we got carried away, so we're going to hit, hit trail, hit trail hard now. How hard are we going to hit the trail? We're going to hit it hard, man, hard. <laughs> if these two are <laughs> pull themselves together. <laughs> I was like, I don't, spit, don't spit it. I'm going to choke on it. <laughs> but, but I run. Hey, how are your uh, pink socks doing? Doing all right. I'm enjoying them. Quality hiking socks. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't bring a sock. Only the best. <laughs> Just the people are less than archaeology. I yeah. found it really interesting. Not only learning stuff. <laughs> so Pete's having some more uh, technical issues, as per usual on every single trip. I hate technology, I absolutely despise and load it. His phone's broke. What's going on? I'm rebooting it. Basically, really good phone, the buttons have stopped working so I can't unlock it unless somebody rings me and I hang up the phone on them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Charlie. Singularly the most man. annoying we'll thing in the world. It. You're the one that's struggling. Have you shown everyone your hay fever right now? Yeah, we won't go there. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get through this? Just want to unpack my bag. <laughs> Just re repack the bag, mate. How much longer have we got? Oh, I don't know, mate. I'm on the flagship fixed. enterprise. Right? I am falling asleep, so let's just keep moving. Are you flagging that bag you've Mate, I had like four hours sleep and five hours sleep the last night. I'm used to eight hours every night. There's the river. River's on your left, boys. Yeah. Thanks. Safe.
That right there is the river at Eden. This is the first time we've seen it. And we're now following that for the next oh, several kilometers or so. Probably about three kilometers, I'm guessing. Um, going around the north side of Carlisle. And then we've got another fair bit to go until we get to the camp. It's a long day today and we are starting to feel it. Jordan's face says it all. <laughs> he is doing something again. He's just always doing something. He did his time, mate. Look at my insole, man. There, that's the heel. <laughs> What's going on? It's because you've got midget feet. <laughs> what is life? Japanese <laughs> tourist! Peter, what are we looking at? I'm looking at that bridge over there. You're looking at Carlisle Castle. That's well, Carlisle Castle right there. It's quite windy. Interesting fact toys for you. Mary Queen of Scots Diary documents the first game of football played and it was at this castle. Thanks. Well, so there you go. That dog right now. Oh yeah. Look at that dog right. Get through that dog. Let's look at the dog. And hug the shit out of that. Welcome back. Times are uh, pretty hard right now. It's uh, getting late into the evening, roughly about half past six, and uh, I'm feeling pretty rough. I'm feeling pretty mentally tired. Physically, I feel alright, but yeah, Pete's back here. Pete's feeling mentally battered. He's, he's just he's, he's keeping up slowly, and the other two are just ahead. They're alright, but um, we're ahead of schedule. Not sure what that's about. <laughs> We're ahead of schedule because I did uh, estimate us to get to camp for nine o'clock. Like I said at the beginning, it's going to be a long day, and uh, our ETA is currently about seven o'clock. So we need to say eleven then. Seven o'clock. Way. Jordan nearly died. But um, yeah, it's pretty tough. Conversations have gone quiet, and. Uh, Everyone's feeling the burn, but at least the rain has stayed away. We, uh, we were forecast pretty heavy rain all day and we haven't had any. So we've been pretty lucky, no complaints. Just looking forward to getting to camp and eating, eating dinner now. We finally arrived at camp, which feels like forever. The past, it was 12 hours. the past like two kilometers have just took it like just three never years. Ended the last bit, did it? But well, because it wasn't, it was that was way more than two kilometers. It was ridiculous. Um, but we've been joined by Rich. Hey, Rich. Rich and Rich has brought us. Rich has brought cake, so Rich is our best friend <laughs> right now. It's actually, uh, what time is it? All past eight. Past eight. Time to get some food down us. Oh, first, we've got to eat goddamn cake. Five. Everyone's inspecting their feet. Little toe. You want the first piece? Aside from that, I haven't got any blisters. Mm, good man. Right. I've got three. What are you eating, Pete? All these extras. Um, I'm eating uh, what are they called? Adventure food goulash. Goulash. It's quite nice. I've got it to compare it with the, my own that I've made. Look at Rich man. Look at him over there, striding around in his prime. Like, right. Oh, I'm gonna own Hadrian's Wall tomorrow. You'll, we'll, you'll see. We'll see. Hadrian's Wall breaks it. You're gonna become a man tomorrow, Rich. A man. Okay folks, so that is the end of day one. It's been a pretty grueling day, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. <laughs> We're all pretty battered, very tired. I'm certainly gonna sleep well. I've got uh, two days worth of bad sleep to catch up on. Everyone's tucked away in their tops and tents now. And we're all looking forward to the morning. Uh, tomorrow should be a good day. We get to see the wall for the first time tomorrow, which I think we're all looking forward to. It should be a nice reward for today's gruelling affairs. So yeah, look forward to that. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon.